Huh. If only this was on a green screen. Also, yes, these are pajama pants, don't worry. So, right after we had a chance to take a breather from the Mage Seeker, Double Stallion is back with Convergence. Yeah, in case you didn't notice, throughout the last few days, Riot Forge and Double Stallion started teasing Convergence, which is the speedy action platformer about Echo. Every day they gave us a piece of an image, and at the end we got two whole images pieced together. In one we could see Jinx shooting at Echo, and the other one tells Echo that Pow Pow wants to give him a kiss. Needless to say, you may remember that Echo used to have a crush on Jinx. On top of that, Double Stallion also started teasing some new gameplay clips. Some of these come from the previous trailers, but some of these are entirely new. We got a sequence that shows the action platforming of this game. This appeared in a previous trailer. A combat clip that shows you that if you take damage or if you die, we still don't know if there is a health bar, you can rewind time and try to fight again without getting hit. Then there was a quick supercut of all the action sequences. And we got two bigger clips which you can piece together for a piece of a cinematic. Or an animation, depending on your definition. We then got a combat clip that shows us some fighting in... The Last Drop? Remember Vander's bar from Arcane? That seems to be the same eye they later put on top of it. So this game will probably hold onto some references from Arcane. Which should be obvious, this is a game about... Echo. Then there is another platforming sequence with more parkour where we can see Echo chasing a robot similar to one of those introduced in Legends of Runeterra. Then there is another clip where Echo fights some scrappers. And there is even a fight against a Vigilnaut, which are typically the Scamtech powered bodyguards. There is another combat clip that also seems to be happening at a bar. Here we see Echo again showcase his recall. But that's where the short clips stopped. After that, two days ago, we got a whole teaser which was a really short one and I almost made a whole 10 minute long video about it. Because during the recall there is a lot happening in all the clips. But then Riot released a teaser that came out yesterday, so I scrapped the entire video. Because most of the things you see in the recall are actually in this new trailer. So today, let's have a look at the official story trailer for Convergence. And of course, let's talk about all the details we can find there. It all begins with a massive reveal. I don't even believe this is a spoiler. This is a key part of the story, which you probably learn at the very beginning. It is revealed that the big villain who is on all the Convergence posters, who looks a little bit like Victor, is not a villain at all, let alone Victor. It is Echo from the future. Which explains why in the very first reveal we could hear two voices overlapping each other. It was simply the two Echoes talking. We then get a shot of the two Echoes holding a golden crystal. Previously you might have seen these in the other trailers. Especially when the two Canberrans were refining them in their factory. Now it is obvious that these golden crystals will be part of the main story. Then there is a quick shot introducing the Z Drive, which is the machine that allows Echo to rewind time. But remember, even though the future Echo traveled back in time somehow, the present Echo can only rewind back a few seconds. Then there is the shot of Exploding Tower, which we actually saw in the previous trailer. And immediately after that, it goes back to the Golden Crystals in a factory. I'm still not exactly sure what these Golden Crystals are going to be. It is possible that these might be the artificial Hextech gemstones that come from Zaun. Yes, Zaun is crafting their own Hextech, which is highly unstable. And as a byproduct, this is also how Chemtech becomes a thing. But we are not really sure if this is what it is, so we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this guy in the reflection is a brand new Cam Baron, because they don't really fit any of the Cam Barons that we already know. And in the next shot, it is a totally different Cam Baron. At least, I believe that is a Cam Baron. Vigil Nods have similar suits, but they are not this clean and fancy. Then there is a quick shot of the two Echoes steaming up over the Golden Crystals, saying that there is a war coming. And it is kinda implied that it is not Piltover vs Zaun this time. This game might introduce a Cam Baron Civil War, which also sounds like an interesting story. After this, we can see a different tower blowing up. And this one made me think, are these the headquarters of all the different Cam Barons? Because if you look at the tower, it is totally different thematically from the previous one. 
I wonder if the goal of this game is going to be to infiltrate each of these towers. Anyway, then there is a map showing us the layout of Zone, with all the different explosions going off around the city. Then, one of these towers seems to be flying apart using giant balloons. Maybe this is a safety mechanism? And then we see a good old Piltoven balloon parade. These are usually happening during the Progress Day, which is a yearly event in Piltover where people celebrate new inventions. You may remember a version of this day from Arcane. And then we get a big reveal. One that you could actually very quickly find in the previous teaser. It's the reveal that Camille is gonna be part of this game. And she is investigating why Future Echo is traveling to the past again and again. Honestly, it is so great to finally see Camille get another spotlight after... Well, last time she encountered Jin. Then we get a shot of what I believe is Echo's team. You can see the blueprints of the Z-Drive on a wall and also a... duck. These guys are friendly, right? Also, the front person is wearing glasses that are very similar to Echo's friend. Who died? So I'm not really sure what is going on here. Maybe it is just similar glasses and there is no connection at all. Because that friend should be dead. They appeared on the wall of memories. Then there is a cool shot of Echo building the glove mechanism for the Z-Drive. And then there is a shot of Echo stepping back, which actually comes from the previous trailer. But here, when he runs out, you can actually see the poster in the background, which says Jinx on it. Okay, actually it is Inks. So, is Jinx in a band? Actually, I believe it's gonna be an easter egg. This could be just the soundtrack cover similar to what Speed Brawl did. Also, it could absolutely be just someone who is a fan of Jinx. And then Echo runs out and jumps Assassin's Creed style. After this, there is a quick shot of Echo during the balloon parade. And yeah, I don't even wanna know what the heck that thing is. But he does land on a balloon marked with Jinx's monkey. Which seems to be a cool callback to Jinx's original music video. And then we get some gameplay shots. There is a shot of Echo fighting Jinx's goons? They are using the same color scheme as well as her rockets and her monkeys. And I wonder if these are not actually on Jinx's side. Maybe they just saw all the tags around the city and they liked it and they kinda made a cult around it. Then there is a cut into Zone's beautiful environment, I am expecting a lot of this. A great shot of Echo grinding with the tower that's gonna explode in the background. Echo standing on a lid as he's being launched into the stratosphere. There are platforming shots of some of the biomes. These are enclosed greenhouses inside Zone that actually produce breathable air. But I'm not gonna cross my fingers for seeing Corina Veraza in this game. Then there is a shot of Echo holding the golden crystal as he's facing Jinx. And when it cuts to Jinx, I thought she was standing in front of the last drop. But if you look at the rocky surroundings, I believe this might actually be the Eye of Zone, which should be at the very bottom of the city. You might remember this one from Arcane, this is also the place where Vi and Jinx grew up. And of course, after Jinx shot the rocket at Echo, there had to be a smiley face. Then there is another cool close-up of future Echo, followed by a fighting scene of present Echo, which kinda teases that it is the same scene. And then after Echo rewinds back from being shot by Jinx, we get more really awesome reveals. First of all, there is a boss fight teaser, where one of the Cam Barons flies up in a giant balloon warship. Then there is a shot back at one of the Cam Barons with the Vigilnaut suit. Another teaser that Camille will be involved in all of this, and finally, yes, Warwick will be part of this game. And this is where I really wonder, how far will they go with the arcane references? Just how tightly will they hold onto everything that happened there? Because now there is a massive potential for a great story. But that's where the trailer ends. And it reveals that Convergence comes out May 23rd, which is right behind the corner. Which also means more content for me, so I'm not gonna complain. Actually, super quickly, there is one more thing. If you go around the internet and look for websites that cover this game, not only will you find some videos from this game, but also screenshots. 
And here I want to show you three big ones, even though there is a lot more we can have a look at. And again, I wouldn't say this is a spoiler, but I am going to show you three boss fights of the characters that we already mentioned in this video. First of all, you may actually find the fight with Jinx. I'm not gonna show the video version because I don't really want to spoil the fight for people, but it does give me Cuphead vibes. The second fight is with Camille. And the third one is with Warwick. So be ready to face all of these in-game. And lastly, we can mention that this game will also have four emotes in League of Legends. This was kind of revealed on Twitter, but yeah, some of these are pretty cool. So yeah, to be fair, all of this looks amazing. I really like platformers, so I believe I'm gonna really like this game. Unfortunately, I also never played Speed Brawl, which is the previous game Double Stallion made. And which is also the game that inspired Convergence. But what's interesting is that this might be the first time Riot will try to push off of the story of Arcane, Which is also why this game has the potential to reach the wider audience. And the chances are, if you are a fan of Arcane, you might be a fan of this game too. So, the stakes are high right now. This is a good chance for more people to get interested in the universe of League of Legends. And all the fan favorite characters seem to be involved too. Except for one. The one Piltoven who does not get the attention they deserve. The one person who could really carry the story of an entire game. Professor Von Yip. Please at least give me a reference. 